Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a summer clothing haul. I've been collecting a few pieces from various clothing shops, so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys like these kind of videos and wanna see more try on clothing hauls, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so I know this is something that you guys wanna see more often. But without any further ado, let's get right into today's clothing haul. All right, so Stella is sleeping, so if I'm a little quiet, that is why. So we're gonna start off with just a basic kind of outfit. So I showed you guys this shirt that I got in my last vlog from Urban Outfitters. It is a size extra small, and I'm obsessed with this rust color right now. It's so great for summer, even fall, and anything cropped is perfect for me because I'm so petite that sometimes the normal size shirts kind of cut me off, if that makes any sense at all. So anything that's cropped, kind of elongates me. I also have these paper bag pants that I got from Abercrombie. These are a size 24 short. Yeah, these are a size 24 short and they fit me perfectly where I still have enough room. I just haven't worn them out anywhere yet <laughs> just because I haven't had anywhere to go, but I absolutely love these. They're a nice light wash. They're also cut off here at the ankle. Um, they're not quite skinny jeans, but they're also not quite a straight leg. I don't mind because not all my jeans have to be skinny jeans, but these are just so comfortable super flattering on the butt it kind of like lifts the butt in a way which i like um and again they're not too tight and they're not loose they're kind of just like the perfect fit and i'm obsessed with paper bag bottoms right now you could either dress them up or dress it pretty casual kind of how i paired it here and then also these have been such a big hit and every time I wear them on Instagram I get tons of DMs asking where they're from but these are a pair of sandals that I picked up from Steve Madden I want to say before quarantine and I've only worn them a couple of times because again I really don't go anywhere that often but they're so comfortable I've actually gotten quite a few people to purchase them because <laughs> they thought they looked cute on me which is super flattering I got them and clear but I do know that they come in tan. I also picked up this hat from Urban Outfitters last weekend and I know I showed you guys in a vlog but I kind of wanted to show you how I would pair it kind of casually. Also excuse the lighting it's so overcast outside so it's kind of like making my video a little dark but this hat is so so cute. I'm obsessed with these type of hats right now especially here in California the summers get so hot actually it's hot a lot of the time and I personally don't like to have a lot of sun in my face but look how freaking cute this outfit is super casual and that's kind of what I love most about statement pieces like the sandals the jeans and a hat you can either dress them up or dress them down but again the hat is from Urban Outfitters the shirt is from Urban Outfitters my paper bag jeans are from Abercrombie and my sandals are from Steve Madden. Okay, so I decided to keep the same paper bag pants on with the Steve Madden sandals. But next is this bodysuit that I got from Vici. I love this piece. First of all, it's so comfortable. The attachment at the bottom is a thong, which I prefer for bodysuits because they don't like bunch up and ride up. It also has this beautiful boning to kind of keep the V in place, which I love that they did that. Sorry, you guys kind of see my bra. And it's obviously black, but it has a type of, I wonder if I'm able to show you guys. See, that's a little better. It's a solid black bodysuit, but it has these very faint lines going down the shirt. Again, I'm in a size small in this. The one thing about Vici is that they don't carry extra small, which kind of sucks because there's been a few items that I've ordered from them um, that are just too big in a normal size small, but luckily this came in and it fit perfectly. I love it and I love it with this outfit too. So freaking cute. And again, it's so comfortable. All right, next is this adorable baby doll dress from Vici. Honestly, you guys, baby doll dresses are probably going to be my go-to this summer. This is in a size small. I love this. The material is amazing quality. It has a liner underneath, which is just like that extra coverage. It has this beautiful button detailing and it also is obviously a v-neck. It is slightly big on me. <laughs> I do, I do want to say that. Um, I may or may not take it in, like see if I 
gotten, ta gotten it taken in a little bit at the waist. It might look a little better on my body type because again, I'm petite and short. So sometimes super oversized things like make me look boxy if that makes sense. But nonetheless, I'm gonna keep this piece because I absolutely love it. Also, if I were to ever get pregnant again, this would be such a cute like pregnancy dress with like a little bump. So I love this piece. Also, if you wanna buy like a super cute rattan belt, belting it would be super adorable. And I highly suggest if you guys haven't invested or like bought any baby doll dresses for the summertime, I highly suggest you guys either order one or go to a store and try one on because again, they're my new favorite. They're easy to style, super comfortable, and you could dress them up or dress them down. So again, this one is from Vici and I'm wearing a size small. All right, this next dress I'm gonna show you has to be my favorite out of the two baby doll dresses, just because it fits my body a little bit better. Again, I'm in a size small. These color tones, like the earthy tones, are right up my alley. It also is a different material than the previous baby doll dress that I shared with you guys. Um, it's really light and airy. It's not super short, but honestly, if you are taller than me, it may be a little too short for you, just depending. I know I wore this in my my lip and Botox video, but I wanted to share it here again. This looks super cute as well with like the Steve Madden sandals that I had. Again, it has this beautiful button detailing. And again, <laughs> the color is right up my alley. But if you're gonna get only one of the baby doll dresses that I recommend, I highly suggest this one because it's so comfortable and it's just beautiful. I absolutely love this one. All right, you guys, so it's the day before the try on haul. But as you can see, this dress, obviously it's so cute, but it's way too big on me. This is a dress I got from Abercrombie. I love shopping on Abercrombie because they have petite, normal, and tall sizes. So I ordered the extra small petite in this dress, and it's like this nice, sorry, Stella's being crazy. It's this nice linen color and striped, which is so flattering because I personally don't like anything that at least on me, that goes stripe across. I love vertical stripes, not horizontal stripes. There you go. So I'm filming this part the night before because tomorrow in the morning, my dog has a groomer appointment and right next door is the... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm so distracted by Stella. Right next door is the tailors, so I'm just gonna drop them off and then run next door to get this hemmed, but, okay, so this is an extra small petite. They went down to extra, extra small, and honestly, sometimes I forget how small I am. Like, I didn't think I needed the extra, extra small, but apparently I probably should have ordered it. And then when I went online today to check to see if I could switch out the sizes, all the petite sizes are sold out. So, and I don't wanna return this because I actually really love this dress. So I'm gonna get it taken in to become a little tighter, kinda of like that. See how much flattering that is? I love the slit detail at the bottom. So cute, and you can see like on the material exactly how much bigger it is for me. Um, and it also has these beautiful tie straps right here, which I love. I currently don't have a bra on, but I probably would wear like a sticky bra and like kind of push the girls up a little bit. But if you guys don't want anything form fitting, which I feel like I look best when I have I feel like I look best when I have clothes on that are a little form fitting. So I'm not gonna get it in like so tight, like a bodycon dress. I just want it to be a little bit more snug. Um, but yeah, I love this dress. It's so cute. I'll go ahead and link it in the description box. Like see, it's so baggy. Basically the dress kind of makes me look boxy if I don't get it taken in. But yeah, see how much better it looks when I get it taken in. Just a little more form fitting. But I love, the slit is like so modest still, but still a little sexy, which I'm so here for the slit. I actually don't have anything like it. That's why I don't wanna return it. But I'm so petite that I do have to get a lot of items hemmed and tailored to be completely honest with you guys. I mean, yeah, I'm sure I could probably leave it loose like that, but again, I just don't like that look on me personally. Um, so if you wanted a more oversized fit, you guys probably wouldn't have to get it tailored. All right, so the last few items I'm gonna share are all tops. 
So this top again is from Vici and this has to be one of my favorite pieces. I'm a sucker for just like off the shoulder tops are like tube tops like this. It has this peplum baby doll fill. It's this nice linen white material. The only thing is, again, I got the size small because they don't carry extra small. And good thing you could tie the middle as tight as you can because I think if that wasn't like a feature of this top, I probably would have had to return it. It is a little big on me, but after throwing on my strapless bra from Victoria's Secret, it kind of filled in in some of the gaps which is exactly what I needed but I absolutely love this top it is so cute and perfect for spring and summer it has this high low feature so in the back it's a little lower and flares this would be so cute with jeans as well also these shorts are super old but I'm gonna share them because they're the High Rise Festival shorts from PacSun, and they always have these in stock. So although I bought these last summer, or maybe even longer than that, I think I bought them last spring, PacSun always carries like the same exact shorts pretty much yearly. These are a size 24 for reference, and I live in these shorts. And these are probably my most worn jean shorts. Also, the wash of these are perfect. Okay, the next top is this beautiful off the shoulder rust top this top is from Nordstrom's I am wearing a size extra small and as soon as I seen this on the Nordstrom site I knew like I had to have it um, again it's off the shoulder it has this bubbled sleeve detailing which I love anything bubble sleeved I feel like it's just so like elegant yet sexy at the same time it also has like these little I guess you would say like holes throughout the shirt that kind of like mimic flowers but I love this top again I just paired it with the same festival high-rise shorts from PacSun all right last but not least is this beautiful top from Beachy it's an off the shoulder top again here are those bubble sleeves that I told you I'm obsessed with it has this beautiful boning here on the top to keep your top up that's the one thing about certain I guess quote-unquote tube tops are off the shoulder tops is that if there's not a proper boning or lining in the top it will just constantly fall I actually don't have a bra on right here so excuse that but I love this top. I actually wore this to my friend's engagement gathering maybe like a week or two ago. And again, it's so comfortable. It's beautiful. The back is, ugh, the back is gorgeous as well. This is in a size small. But I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. So when I got this top, it was originally way too big. I mean, way too big. So what I did... I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Do you see how there's like a lining in there? I actually like grabbed it and kind of like turned it and sewed it to make the bust part smaller. And it worked. And you can't even tell that I sewed the inside of the lining. And now it fits me perfectly because I was so in love with this top that I was like, okay, I'm not going to return this top. Like I want to keep it. I want to make it work. And so I took the chance and sewed it and it worked out. So I highly suggest anything from Beachy. I haven't been disappointed honestly by anything that I've bought from them for a while. They always have amazing sales and like discount codes so never pay full price for any of the items that you buy from there. But if you guys haven't heard of Beachy, I'll go ahead and link their site in the description box below. But that's going to include today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this try on haul. I'm going to try to link everything as much as possible in the description box below if things are sold out. I'll probably write certain items that are sold out, but thank you guys so much for watching also Sorry, I didn't feel like wearing makeup today and I figured you guys wouldn't care So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye